Welcome back everybody. We're back to make a ginger lime soap. I haven't used this scent before. Uh, it smells really good. It's uh, from Elements Bath and Body. So I'm going to give it a shot. It's supposed to be quite nice, so we'll see. Um, the design I'm doing is, is like an in the pot thing. I don't know if there's a name for it, but um, it's an inspiration from uh, Clyde Yoshida, Vibrant Soap. Um, the way he does his in the pot deal. Kind of like a Clyde slide, but a little different. So that's kind of where I'm going with it, at least I hope so. Um, and that's all I can tell you right now. Oh, just a second, I better get my molds. I didn't even get them out. Oh. All right. I didn't put my additives in yet, so do that up now. And I'll put the scent in after. And I believe this, the uh, remarks about that scent, it did yellow the batter a little bit, but nothing terrible. So I can deal with a little bit of that. I'm going to buzz this in. Okay. I do want a little more in here of these, but I'm going to put my color in first and then top them up. So I have a alpine green here. golden green. And a gold. This one's a dark gold. Represent more of the the ginger, the skin on the ginger. thickening up. Maybe I should put the scent in now then.
smells really nice. Nice combination of both. The ginger and the lime. I'm going to get a smaller spatula now for this one. Oh yeah, I need my bowl back, don't I? Got to do that first. So I'll just reuse this bowl from my soap. And than I was hoping to work with for this one, but we'll make it do. So I'm not doing any stirring. I'm just going to let it plop in. Hopefully I got you in here enough. Bang this down. All right. Well, this fragrance behaves quite well. I mean, I, I would think there's a little bit of acceleration, but very minor. So now, I'm just going to twirl these a little bit. So I don't have those solid straight lines on the very top, you know, you get. Well, Rachel. And I have another one to do after this for tonight. It's been a busy soaping day.
get you better in here. There. And that, my dear soap lovers, is done. So let's hope we got something pretty inside. Stay with me for the cut. All right, ready to cut ginger lime. I really should wait a little longer before I cut it, but I don't want to. I want to see what's inside. So hopefully I don't regret cutting it too soon. So I'm just get an end piece off. go that's pretty cool looking I like it just gotta fix my screen here there we go I like it again another batch where the colors kind of muted on me some more not having luck with my last two for that. Not sure why. But I love the design. The way that's going there. Like little arrows. I tell you, the whole room just smells of this ginger lime. It's beautiful. It almost reminds me of a soda. I don't know, like a, a Mountain Dew or like a ginger ale, but more limey. So there's more citrus in there. Like it's not, um, there's a slight sweetness to it. It's not a very sharp. Then, oh, just love it. Fresh. Look how fine some of those lines are. Woohoo! Definitely anxious to see how people like this one at the market. Because right now, I definitely want to order more of it. But, just because I like it doesn't mean everybody else is going to like it. So we'll see what the consensus is going to be. But love, love, love. I think I'd do the same design again, too. And hopefully try and get my colors a little darker. I don't know. I mean, I love pastels, but this one I was going for a little darker green in there with the lighter green. Love it. And look at those squigglies. I don't know what you call them. I'm calling them squigglies, but look at that. Awesome. And I'll clean them up and attach them on the back of this video. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all that stuff. Hit the bell if you want notifications of more of my videos. And we'll see you the next one. Bye for now.